morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the statistics uh, that you see in Mass Mailer. So it's uh, often, um, very often, most of the customers are, um, are confused on um, uh, the statistics uh, that we actually display um, uh, in the outreach object, especially. Uh, so there are two sections people see. Uh, there's uh, uh, real-time statistics and the regular statistics and the open rate and stuff like that. Uh, so I thought maybe it's uh, uh, better to kind of explain, um, you know, how these statistics work and um, and what each one means and how do you report on them. Uh, so let's just uh, get started. So if you have noticed the uh, outreach object, the mass mailer outreach object, if you scroll down, you would see uh, the uh, sections where we display statistics. Uh, so the very first one uh, is the outreach, uh, mass mailer outreach statistics. That's called batch statistics. And then that, right uh, below that, there is a, a section where we also display the performance, the outreach performance, and right below there's a real-time statistics. So there are three different sections that you would see on outreach. Uh, so each one of them is interrelated. Uh, and of course, they, uh, you know, uh, update, they get updated or refreshed uh, at a certain point of time, right? Uh, so to start with the outreach batch uh, statistics that you see on the top, um, and again, um, may make sense if I actually uh, go to Salesforce and then show it to you here, uh, that way you can appreciate uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's say we take this uh, particular outreach. And then um, right here, uh, you see the Mass Miller outreach statistics. So this is called the batch statistics. And the performance is more like a, a rate. Uh, based on the statistics, we calculate what is the performance. <clears throat> and right below is the real-time uh, statistics. So this is more dynamic in nature, right? Uh, so now if I flip this, uh, so the outreach, uh, the batch statistics that you see on the top, um, that gets updated every 15 minutes. So most of the customers actually get confused. Uh, hey, I don't see the statistics getting updated. Uh, I just sent a, a, an email or a, a campaign, what happened? Uh, so the reason is uh, because they don't uh, get refreshed um, you know, uh, immediately. It takes 15 minutes uh, for them to uh, refresh. And um, uh, so what is the, the other fundamental difference is that, uh, you know, of course we display it on the details page, uh, but it is reportable uh, using the standard Salesforce reports, meaning, um, so you can actually create a report and outreach and then look at the number of opens, clicks and all of that, because those are fields on the outreach statistics object, yeah? Uh, since those are fields, you can actually report them in a report, right? And uh, also there's no drill down report. So meaning when you look at the number of um, uh, opens and stuff, so all you can say is, okay, 10 are open, but you don't know uh, who are those 10 uh, because it's just a number, right? That's the reason why it is basically uh, a static number that is reportable uh, from an outreach object. So if I were to, Again, go back here. Uh, so these are all, what you see is you cannot click them. So there's no drill down. Those are all just the numbers, right? Uh, what's this here, these are drill down. So you can actually look at this, the real time statistics. You can actually drill down and see uh, who are those delivered, right? And uh, if I want to actually go to a report uh, in Salesforce, again, Mass Wheeler, uh does package uh, certain reports. So I'm going to go to the mass mailer reports. Uh, so if I go with the outreach, uh, say for an example, uh, outreach report. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> you can see uh, the summary and also you can actually see all of this, uh, which is the number, plain number, right? the request delivered opens, unique opens and all of that. So these are all 
the unique, uh, uh, I mean, the, the numbers, but these are not like uh, drill down reports. So you can report on them just because those are all the fields. So if you edit, uh, you will actually see them being just the uh, fields on the object. So you can see those are just the fields, right? And that's the reason why you're able to report on them. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, the main difference. And the campaign batch statistics, right? Uh, so now don't get confused again, what is outreach batch and what is campaign? So when I say campaign here, it means Salesforce campaign. If you are using Salesforce campaign to send email, then we always relate the particular outreach object, mass mail outreach object with the Salesforce campaign object. You would see the association. I'll show you an example as well, right? Again, this is the same thing. Uh, the, they also get refreshed every 15 minutes, uh, but it's just a copy over from the outreach object to the Salesforce campaign object. So. Uh, just to make it uh, easy for customers, we have also uh, we are also porting those uh, statistics onto the campaign object from outreach, and uh, of course those are available fields on the Salesforce campaign object, which means those are also reportable. Uh, so the campaign uh, is associated with the outreach. Uh, so again, if I go back here, um, this is an outreach object, right? And there could be uh, a campaign associated, provided you actually used. Uh, Salesforce campaign to send out an email. And uh, again, this particular example is uh, a perfect uh, fit. And as you can see, the mass mail statistics also appear, which is just the exact same um, number what you see on the outreach. So it's just a copy over, right? And we also show the performance uh, both. So basically you can see the statistics and the campaign performance uh, that is coming from the outreach uh, object, right? Uh, so mass mailer outreach. So if I go back, uh, you would see that it is just the uh, outreach and it is related to campaign, yeah. Uh, and of course, this is reportable as well because uh, in the mass mailer reports, uh, we should be uh, having, um, let's see, mass mailer outreach with campaign, uh, which means you are basically uh, reporting on both because both are interrelated. So if there's a campaign associated with an outreach, it displays that. You can also report all those opens and clicks and stuff, right? So this is basically a, a reportable um, a metric that you get. And then um, now uh, if you look at the real-time statistics, right? So the real-time statistics are updated as and when we get the email events from SendGrid. Uh, so as you all know, we use SendGrid and anytime the uh, email has been sent, uh, processed, clicked, opened, we get the event almost real time. Uh, so if somebody clicks on it, it may take sometimes a few seconds or a minute, but it's almost real time. Uh, so that's why we call real time statistics. So those events get captured and then we calculate the number of opens. We calculate how many event opens are, uh, um, uh, sorry, open events are there. And then we display that number. Uh, so which is always dynamic in nature. So you kind of like look at uh, the output statistics. You just set a campaign, keep refreshing this page, and then you see the real-time statistics also keep changing. Um, that is because as and when we get the events from SendGrid, we bump up the number. Um, and this is basically just in a visual uh, form. So it's, it's an um, iframe layout, as you can see. Um, and then these are drilled down, meaning you can actually click on them uh, on each one of those and then see the uh, people or you know, the recipients who actually uh, opened or clicked. Uh, but these are not reportable, meaning, uh, so when I say not reportable, like of course they are, uh, you can see them on the outreach, but uh, you won't be able to immediately see the same number in a report. So for an example, you got 10 opens uh, in the 10 minutes of the email that has been sent, uh, that is displayed on the outreach details page, but in the Salesforce report, it may not come through just because it is only 10 minutes since you sent an email. So we take 15 minutes to refresh. And that's the reason why we say that, hey, sometimes uh, the numbers may not match just because you know the, uh, the actual batch job takes 15 minutes to execute. Uh, so the reportable numbers 
uh, that you see in Salesforce, especially we you just uh, started a campaign, just been a few uh, minutes or uh, an hour. Uh, the numbers may not match but that just because we have a bad job running every 15 minutes. So that's a kind of a, a fundamental difference. I'll take you to the uh, real time statistics here. Again, going back to the outreach. Um, <clears throat> uh, so the real time statistics, what you see here, let's say uh, we have two open. And if you want to know who are those, you just have to click on this uh, number two and then uh, it is reported and you can see that there are two opens um, and you know you can export them, you can email the report, you can add them to a different campaign. So all of that can be done, uh, but there are actually two opens right there. Yeah, so that's, um, that's, that's why it is called drill down. We are able to um, drill down just because we have the related email status object that is also um, you know, connected with the uh, respective uh, contact and lead. Um, and then that's also having an association with the outreach. So we basically know uh, who it is um, by the relationship that we maintain. And that's what you see when it comes to the real time statistics. Yeah. So um, that's the main difference uh, between the bad statistics and the real time statistics. Um, you know, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot it over right now put in the chat window, if you don't mind. Or you can speak up either ways. Okay, uh, seems like uh, no questions. Uh, once again, this is a very short webinar, uh, but an important topic. So I thought I would cover that. Um, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, this is a weekly webinar that runs every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we will be publishing on the new topic if you're in our email list, also on our website. Uh, we do post it on to our social channels as well. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, this is my email address. You can also send an email to our company email, hello at massmiller.io, or just contact us on our website. Uh, just give us a call. Uh, thank you so much once again. Have a great day. Have a great night.